One thing that music obviously has way too much of, then it has to be ego. And I feel like the best example of this that I can think of is a man by the name of Dennis Stoff, one of the most infamous names in the entire metalcore community. But Sandriel, I hear you ask. Dennis Stoff is an absolute dream. He's sexy AF, he's got so much talent, and he posted my artwork on his Instagram story, so fuck you, dude. And yes, I can vouch for him there, except for he hasn't posted my artwork of him just yet, but who knows, it might happen one day. But here's the thing, even though I, who has a mega man crush on Dennis Stoff, uh, even I can tell when there's a recurring problem by at least the sixth time. It was disposed of properly. <laughs> First, he was in a lovely little project by the name of Make Me Famous. Yeah, that's a pretty metalcore sounding name. They released an EP and then one single album, which was lovingly called It's Now or Never in the year of 2012. Uh, they did still work on some more music after that album was released, including a song by the name of Locked and Loaded, which they did perform live a few times. But then, lo and behold, the news broke. Hear ye, hear ye! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Dennis's time with Make Me Famous had ended because they kicked him out while they were touring and gave him a plane ticket back to Ukraine. Make Me Famous then released a massive statement talking about how Dennis was treating the band, how they were treating other bands that they had toured with, and then on top of that, evidently there was some garbage about how Dennis was actually lying to their label, Sumerian Records, so that he could get paid more money for the things that all of them had worked on collectively. Can I please just get paid? This quarter isn't gonna buy anything! Jimmy Rose actually made a YouTube channel and released a couple tracks from Make Me Famous that hadn't been released yet. Uh, my personal favorite one being Let the Game Begin, however he did also release an instrumental that didn't have any lyrics attached to it just yet. It was still under the Make Me Famous name and I felt like it had a lot of potential to be a really good song. For some reason that he didn't release anything about Locked and Loaded, I have a feeling that that never got recorded before Dennis got kicked out. So very quickly, after being evicted faster than Oscar the Grouch on Garbage Day... Things are always gonna get better... before they get worse. <laughs> Dennis announced his new band by the name of Down and Dirty. Dennis did leave Down and Dirty for a little band you might not have heard of by the name of Asking Alexandria. Shwing! Oh, and what a time for the band it was. The Black was released in 2016, as well as bringing this album into existence, the entire year of 2016 really brought a, a lot of bromance moments in Asking Alexandria between Dennis and Ben Bruce himself. Oh, look at how cute they are. Dennis was doing an amazing job as Denny Worsenop's replacement in the band, especially considering that the two ha were on such bad terms with each other, that being Asking Alexandria and Danny together. Uh, and after all of this positivity and good, you know, forward thinking, Asking Alexandria fans were definitely looking forward to the next release with Dennis Stoff as the vocalist. Surely this can't be foreshadowing in any sort of way. <laughs> October of 2016, Ben Bruce actually posted on his socials that Dennis had left the band. And Dennis, in 2017, had had gone on air and posted this about why he had left. Well, uh, honestly, uh, I don't even know where to begin with on this one. It's been it's been a year. It's been a very tough decision for me, but I had to leave the band because, as might you've heard before, uh, I'm I'm a Ukrainian guy. I'm originally from Ukraine, and there was too much shit happening and. But pretty much back home where I'm originally from. It's a legit war zone right now. So that was an incredible stress for me and my family. I just had to stop touring for a second and I had to focus on my family and all the things that were happening back then, back there. Yes. At the time, and still currently, Ukraine and Russia are in a war with each other, which I actually had to double check because I had no idea about this. It's at this moment that a lot of people are going to realize that I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. EXCEPT! It didn't actually end there, now did it? Ben Bruce actually went live on, I believe it was Instagram, and had the following to say. So yeah, everything was everything was good, everything was fine. Um, the guys got back, we all reconnected, and I was like, ooh, awesome, glad it went well. Uh, 
really upset that I missed it, but you know, I'm proud of you guys. You did it without me because they were all nervous about it too. Um, so that was that. Dennis went back to Ukraine. We all came back to the States. We all had a nice little break. Um, it got to the time where we started trying to organize a video shoot for Send Me Home. You're like, okay, Dennis needs to fly back to the States. We're going to do a video for Send Me Home. Um, start work on new, new songs, new music, which we did do. We started writing um, and we recorded some demos and stuff. And everything seemed fine and then uh, he just stopped responding, you know. And um, I texted him a bunch of emails, loads of emails back and forth. No response whatsoever. Um, you know, so we were just, we were quite confused. Like, well, what the hell's going on sort of thing. Maybe he's just having a break, maybe he's tired, we don't know. Um, you know, and I received a message from him, something along the lines of, asking Alexandria does not exist unless I get what's owed to me. So I was confused, like, what, what's owed to him? I don't really understand. So it appears as though once again, Dennis was trying to steal more money from the band that he was partnering with, and then he wonders why they had nothing to do with him afterwards. Now can I get paid, please? Is this an IOU for a paycheck? As far as I'm aware, Ben never went public with these messages, uh, so, it, so it could be taken with a grain of salt, but quite frankly, with Dennis's history prior, I wouldn't be surprised either way. This did leave The Black being the only album under the Asking Alexandria name, uh, and then on top of that, because of the level of controversy that Dennis caused, some fans actually questioned the validity of this album. Oh yeah, we're getting two albums out now. And now we're getting into more recent territory, because we're focusing on Dennis's new band, Drag Me Out. In 2017, with that same interview that I had mentioned beforehand, as well as on his socials, he posted about how he was making a new band with a new sound and a fresh feel. Fresh Frozen? Yes, yeah. There's no such thing. But it wasn't until 2019 where they released their first track entitled I'm Sorry. Which I do find odd because never once in the entirety of the song does he apologize for anything. Keep in mind that this song was released January of 2019, and the Asking Alexandria self-titled album was released in 2017. I wish that wasn't important information. Less than a month later, Drag Me Out surprise released their debut album, Pressure. And then, some people made some, uh... connections with the song Hollow. So because of the obvious plagiarism, the song was forcibly removed from uh, YouTube, from the album itself, and all of the proceeds that the band had made from that song had to be donated to charity. Now, whether that was by the band's own omission or by the record label's submission, that's... Yeah. Dennis at one point did claim that he had written the instrumental for Hollow while he was still with Asking Alexandria, and then he thought he took it with him when he left. Asking Alexandria then used the instrumental for the song Alone in a Room, and then he never listened to their album Asking Alexandria. And of course, the validity of that statement is questionable, but nothing ever really got pushed forward after that. Drag Me Out did go pretty quiet for a while, but in 2020, Drag Me Out actually released a new single by the name of The Watch of the Buried. The general consensus of that song was that it was a very good song, going back to the harder uh, Dennis Stoff history, kind of sounding like The Black with a down and dirty mix. So it actually did really well for a while. Until... It turned out that the artwork for the single was stolen. Oh my god! An artist by the name of Maxime Ticardi re-showcased his artwork entitled Ebola, which he had made in 2014, using paint and some of his own blood. Yeah, that really brings a whole new meaning to blood, sweat, and tears, doesn't it? 
I'm not touching that joke with a 10-foot pole. Ebola will be showcased over here, and... Bruh. They didn't even try to change the color scheme, my dude. When Maxime started creating this whole hullabaloo about everything, then every single member of the band apparently reached out to him to try to make some uh, compensations about it. But the problem is, all of the members' stories were different. The other members' consensus was that Dennis had brought this piece up to them, claiming that it was his own original piece. Uh, but then Dennis claims that he purchased this from a third-party vendor, and the third party, who was never named or uh, apprehended in any sort of way from what I can tell, obviously didn't mention that it was plagiarized, and so Dennis then used that as the art piece for The Watch of the Buried. Oh, shit! Maxime did also claim later that Dennis offered him $250 to be able to use the piece. I come from money. Eventually, Sumerian Records did delete the video off of the YouTube channel and from what I can tell pulled it from different digital merchants that you could purchase it from and then re-uploaded everything with a generic piece of artwork without the plagiarized piece. God damn it, Dennis, why do you keep doing this to us? Jim, why do you keep hiring this guy? He just keeps getting us in trouble! Because we need to make money, damn it! Dennis has also released a single under his solo project just called Stoff which is called Baby Show Me Your Tongue, uh, and I am not even going to try to pronounce that in Ukrainian. Stoff is a more pop project, as you could probably tell, uh, and this is more just a Dennis sort of, I wanna say, passion project. And as of now, he has been advertising on his pages, as well as the Drag Me Out pages, that, he, that they are going to be releasing a double album in 2021. Now, he didn't say this, but this is my own personal feeling. This is probably going to be similar to how System of a Down released Hypnotize and Mesmerize. Uh, and if that's the case, then I hope that they do it the same way, so that he, it has a little connecting piece so that you can just put both the albums together. But, that's just me talking here. He says that one half of the album is going to be extremely heavy metal, going back to his roots, and the other half is going to be very experimental. Now, what he means by experimental, it could be anyone's game. Uh, Dennis has done little teasers every now and again on his, uh, on his album, or I should say, Instagram page. Uh, but other than that, we don't know anything else about this new album. And the problem is that it, even though it's obvious that he's not an honest musician, the stuff that he comes out with is really, really good. So I do still listen to all of the albums that he's put out so far, uh, and I am still going to probably listen to the new albums when they come out, but I do have my eye out for more situations that Dennis Stoff just ultimately shoots himself in the foot for. And that's it. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be a different style for me than I'm normally used to. And this is also going to be the first video that I at least majorly edited myself in a long, long time. As most of you know, I have been using an editor by the name of uh, Luke is Mad, which still go check out his YouTube channel. Uh, but this is more just an experiment for me because I am trying out this. Uh, I am trying out a new editor on my computer that my computer seems to run okay. Uh, it's not perfect. There are going to be some things in there that I'm not a big fan of, but. Ultimately, I hope that you guys still enjoyed the video. Otherwise, let me know what I can do to be even better with these kinds of things, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you all so much for watching.